All right, hey, this is Dr. Taylor here with today's Real Health Story coming from Align, Utah. I'm here with Maylene, and Maylene, go ahead and tell us your story. Now, I was thinking about shooting this video today because you came in with tingling feet, and that went away after your adjustment, but I really want you to tell a little bit about the background because you guys have been patients here for almost a year now, so why don't you tell a little bit about you know, your daughter, Carrie, and what you noticed with her first, and then some of the changes that you've experienced, too. Okay. Um, yeah, my daughter Carrie's been here for about a year this September, and with her, the reason I brought her in was she was always been a hyper of a little girl, but she's had irritability, um, at the time was having a real hard time with wetting the bed, and it was all the time. And then with that also, she would fight with sleeping, she still does because she's four, but it's been less of a fight, she's more calm in certain situations, and she listens a lot better when she gets too hyper, the more I've seen her get adjusted over the past year. Um, when it comes to her way in the bed, she only does it occasionally before she re before, before she goes to bed. She forgets to go to the bathroom sometimes. But besides that, though, in general, it's gotten so much better in a year. She functions a lot better in social aspects. She doesn't have as much anxiety. She's sleeping better through the night with rest. It may not be a full night, but the rest has gotten so much better. When it comes to me, I came in with my sciatic nerve, the main reason I came in. Um, over the past couple of months getting adjusted, I've been able to have better kidney function because I do suffer from kidney stones. I've been sleeping better even though I have insomnia and it, I probably will for quite some time. It's been getting better. I can see a difference in my energy. Um, I have also increased um, certain things in my meal plan as well and decreased others. And also with, since January of 2015 this year, I have cut back so much on soda that my depression is way better. My anxieties are so much better. This usually would freak me out. And I haven't cried yet, so that's good. Nice. <laughs> well, awesome. Well, you know, a couple things with that with Maylene. You know, first off, it's awesome when we see a parent, you know, bring their, their kid in and want the kid to get care of first because you understand the importance of what we do and you understand the importance of taking care of their health from a young age. But then the other thing that I'll just mention is that right now out in our office, your parents are here too. So there's three generations of your family mm -hmm. all here getting adjusted together, and that's great. That's awesome when you're taking control of your health, not just treating your symptoms, but really taking control of your life and your health, and uh, the best is yet to come. So that's awesome. Keep up the good work. We'll keep you well adjusted. Oh, what did you notice today with the tingling feet? Talk about that real quick. Are, oh. they, are they still tingling? <laughs> I woke up this morning, pain in my feet, and the second I pushed them down, it was like needles at the bottom of my feet. I came in, explained it to them, and by the end of my um, adjustment, my feet have actually been better. I've been in the office about 20 minutes after my adjustment, and it hasn't come back. Yeah, and so a lot of people out there suffer from sciatica, numbness and tingling in their feet. Uh, when Maylene you know, first got adjusted, I told her today, you know, it almost looked like you needed a cane because you were <laughs> yeah. in such pain. Uh, but the important thing is that sciatic nerve, the nerves from that area, they're going out to your important organs and your digestive system yeah. and your reproductive system, not just going down the leg. So it's not just about the pain, it's about the function mm -hmm. and about your body's overall ability to heal. So keep up the good work. We're proud of you, and we're going to keep giving you the best care possible. Thank so. you.